What's up guys, it's Little Black Belt here with a little bit of Heroes and Generals today. Just had the 4th of July here in America, so if you celebrate it, happy 4th of July and we got some Yankee gameplay for you. If you don't celebrate it, I got Yankee gameplay for you anyway, so. Today we are going to be playing the Thompson. Pretty sick guns, I think it's one of the best guns you can get for the Americans. Um, the carbine is also pretty good. The Tommy gun, a little bit slower rate of fire. Um, I believe that the Thompson fully maxed out rate of fire is the same as the default rate of fire on the M1, M2 carbine. But I actually today, I'm grinding to get the Sturmgewehr 44 on a uh, German soldier. And so I've just been using the default rifle, the Gewehr, which by the way... <laughs> I just learned it was called that. I've been calling it the viewer for some time, but uh, I saw a guy, like an actual gun fanatic, um, pronounce it. So I learned how to pronounce it. So it's Gewehr, which makes sense because uh, the Germans, you know, they use the the W sound in German makes a V sound. You know. But anyway, that's off topic. So the Thompson, it's. Max rate of fire is the same as the default one for the carbine, and today I actually had the pleasure while I was grinding to get the, the STG-44 on my German to play the uh, both the M1 carbine and the M1A1 carbine. They're fantastic guns, I must say. A little interesting, hard to get used to at first, but I was absolutely having a blast today picking it up off like paratroopers and using it because it, it holds 30 rounds rather than the M1 Grand's 8 rounds, and it shoots much faster. It's a lot of fun to play. If you get a chance to pick one up, definitely try it out. But anyway, today we're playing on this map. I don't even know the name of this map, to be honest. No, and I recorded this like a week ago. But uh, I saved it because it was a decent match. It wasn't the best. And I also included at the end a little clip from another match I had. A little triple kill with the Thompson. It was crazy. All three headshots in a row. But anyway, you'll see that at the end of the match. Right now we are trying to defend this A point. And we're defending against the Germans right now, so as long as we don't fall, don't let our command posts fall to them, then we pretty much have this in the bag. And as you can see, I'm peeking around the corner here, and I think I get it, got shot in the face. That was a really lucky shot on the other guy's part, considering he shot through the end. My teammate right in front of me hit me in the head, but hey, more power to you. If it's luck, it's luck. Those free points either way. So, just respawning in my Jeep. And this is my main character here, my U.S. infantry character. Uh, he's, uh, I got a lot of stuff unlocked on him. He's been the character I've been playing since I started this game. Since then, I also made a United States uh, tank character, uh, Russian infantry character, and now my German infantry character. This is my, my highest level character, and he's like level in the ma in this match, I can't remember what level he was, but right now he's level 13. Uh, which is pretty nice. I'm not sure why I insisted on getting that pistol kill, but I did. So, yeah, good deal, right? So yeah, my, my German, I just reached rank 4 with him today. My Russian is also rank four, and then my American tank character is rank four, uh, rank four as well. So, yeah, none of them are real high level except for this guy. But I'd like to get an American paratrooper though, because um, that uh, that carbine that was a lot of fun. And I'm grinding the STG 44 for the Germans because. Uh, picked up that gun a couple times and I really like it. I think it feels good. Now, some people say it's really good, other people say it sucks. We'll see, I guess. But uh, I thought it was pretty good. When I picked it up, I got a couple kills with it and I instantly thought it was like amazing. <laughs> so, yeah, I definitely want to try to get that, but I got about 6 days until I have to leave. I'm going to be gone for 6 weeks and be busy, so there's always going to be no content in those 6 weeks. It's just not possible. There's the circumstances, there's no way I'm going to be able to upload. You know. and that, well, maybe after four weeks I might be able to, because that's when my actual vacation starts. This is, whole deal is not really vacation, it's a thing for my scholarship, so it's uh, on the East Coast, get to learn about ships and stuff. But after that is my vacation, I'll have my laptop, so I'll probably be able to upload C++ videos, 
but I won't be able to upload any gameplay so I can't really run games on my laptop. But uh, speaking of that, if you haven't checked out my C++ tutorials, then you should definitely check those out. Super informative. Uh, it's for beginners, so if you want to learn C++ as the programming language, and you've never programmed a computer in your life, then this is the series for you. Um, but I'm not going to link it to the video right now because there'll be a, a box on my end card to click at the end. You can you can check that out. But yeah, uh, and I'll link that to my playlist. My playlist to have this whole playlist on YouTube of my videos so far. I've got probably seven-ish tutorials, I think, so far. So you should definitely check those out and support the channel. Uh, be a huge support. I go on this crazy Thompson killing spree right now. I get... Well, it's, I wouldn't say it's crazy, but I get several dudes here trying to come in and, and cap this point. So I got that guy. I think that was either two or three. I think it's two. That's three. You got that guy right in the face. And as you can see up in the in the top, there's one more guy hiding in here somewhere. Not him. Someone else. Just making sure they don't come through this door here. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I've been playing this game a lot lately. It's been a ton of fun. And uh, I've been playing a lot with Kahulo. If you haven't checked out Kahulo's channel... Uh, I don't think he does many Heroes and Generals videos. He might in the future, but mostly he does Minecraft and uh, some Pokemon stuff. So you should check him out if you're coming for the Minecraft. Uh, he's a buddy of mine in real life. Definitely check his channel. I post some good stuff. Oh, got that guy right in the face. Tommy Gun's a lot of fun. Uh, and this game is free, by the way. If you haven't if you haven't uh, heard of it or, or checked it out yet, it's, it's free. So you should definitely definitely look into it. It's a fun game. I've never spent any real money in this game. The grind sort of kind of sucks, but it's really not too bad. It's not impossible, I'll tell you that. And, uh, for someone who doesn't spend real money on it, and I don't I don't play it non-stop either. I, don't, I probably maybe have 100 hours in this game. Not a whole lot. And I have four characters, so those hours are split in between those characters. So Yeah, that's really not bad. It's not hard to unlock a Thompson either. It's really not. You start off Excuse me. You start off with just a semi-automatic rifle for each faction. So there's three factions. There's United States, Germany, and Soviet Union. And right now in here, you can only see the United States and Germany. Um, but there are three-way battles, too. A little uh, menage a trois, you know. So that is something you can get to. You can get a battle with all three against each other, and those are always fun. I haven't had one of those for a while, but they're a ton of fun, really. Uh, but you start off with a semi-automatic rifle, one for each faction. For the United States, it's the M1 Grand. And then from there, you can unlock um, the first submachine gun, which for the Americans is the grease gun. And then after that, the sniper rifle, which is just a bolt-action rifle. It's the Springfield, the M1903. And then, uh, depending on what you do with that, you can unlock different guns. So if you stay with the grease gun, then you, then you level up your submachine gun, like, ribbon. And then you can eventually unlock the Tommy gun. Um, and then if you stay with the uh, Springfield, you don't unlock any more guns after that, but you can get a scope for it, and you can make it a one-shot kill rifle, which is pretty sick. So that's awesome. And then eventually after that, if you are leveling up your infantry assault, which you can do with bolt action or semi-automatic rifles, then you can get... Uh, the bazooka, which is pretty sick for killing tanks. Uh, you don't make much money, but if you're trying to kill tanks and get the anti-tank grenades, the bazooka is the way to go, I'm telling you. Expensive. Each shot on the bazooka is really expensive, but uh, you get a lot of XP for killing tanks, so. And that's a lot of fun, because tanks are just cancer in this game, I'm telling you. They're really, really annoying. So when you do get the pleasure of killing a tank, it's pretty sweet. I'll shoot that guy right through that little crack there, but I think he ends up getting it. But yeah, I mean, you end up getting the light machine guns eventually when you level up uh, far enough. You end up getting light machine guns, which are awesome. I have, don't have any on this character. I've used them before, picking, up off, picking them up off dead bodies, but I don't have any myself. And there's a couple of those, too. And then finally, if you unlock... If you level up the infantry assault ribbon all the way up to the max level, then you can get the M1, M2 carbine for the infantry character. So, 
The M1M2 carbine is pretty sick. You can get that rate of fire to over a thousand rounds a minute, which is pretty sweet, but uh, really hard to control. I wouldn't recommend going up to over a thousand. I keep mine at 900. Uh, but yeah, the Thompson's pretty nice. If you're wondering what mods I've got on it, I uh, I think it's just the trigger, one of the triggers. I can't remember which one. I think it's like the marksman trigger, or something like that. It's the one that increases the rate of fire. I think they both do, but. Um, yeah, it's just the trigger that increases the rate of fire to 720 rounds a minute, and that's pretty much right in the sweet spot for me. I think it's really not hard to control at all. Shoots straight, you can get headshots. It's pretty nice. And it does shoot faster than the M3 grease gun. And the grease gun has a pretty low rate of fire for a submachine gun. And that's the, uh, the first mach submachine gun you can get for, for the U.S. Um, so, yeah. The grease gun's not bad, though. I, I used to think it was pretty bad, but I picked it up and played with it the other day just to level up the gun. And uh, I actually was doing decently well with it for it being the starter, the lowest level submachine gun you can get for the U.S. People hate on it a lot. Uh, and I don't think it's uh, quite as good as the other two. The one for Germany, which I think is the MP34, and the uh, Soviet one. Which might be the PPD. PPD 41? PP, something like that. There's a PPSH and a PPD, and I think it's the PPD. Which holds a ridiculous amount of rounds. It's like 70 rounds you can get in that thing. The grease gun holds 30. But. Yeah. So. But anyway, yeah, as I was saying, this game is a lot of fun. It's pretty sweet. Um, you should definitely check it out if you're looking for a free uh, shooter first-person shooter, and it's World War II, which you don't see many of those um, nowadays, so definitely, definitely give it a try, at least give it a try. Uh, I've got a couple of my squad mates out here. Uh, it puts you in a random squad, actually, which I, I think is a little bit annoying, because I don't always want to be in a squad, but uh, these guys, I have no idea who they are. The guys in the green, the green names are my squad members, and the guys in the blue are just random teammates, but... Yeah, so we're st still defending this capture point here. And there's planes too, as you can see. There's BF-109. Sounded like a BF-109 probably. Um, strafing those guys out there. And, uh, yeah. You can actually shoot the pilot right out of their cockpit. I've never done it. I've hit the pilot. I've hit them out of their cockpit. Never, never killed them. Oh, this guy's tossing nades in here. Grenades in this game are crazy. Oh, come on, man. I should have had that guy. That's crazy. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen this, because I recorded it such a, about a week ago, so... It's not like I've... Uh, this is my first time seeing it, actually, since then. I'm riding over on the bike. It, I think I was trying to level up my... Uh, physical training badge on here. I had... Uh, Heavy set silver at the time. I did end up getting gold, but at the time I had silver. That was my combat badge. Heavy set silver. And this is not like the greatest match ever. I mean, I'm not super good at first person shooters, but it went alright. Uh, I just thought it was kind of fun because there was just a, all the time there was just people coming at you here at this, this little building. Like, I don't think there was really ever too many dull moments at this building, so. It's not like I, it was a match where I did, like, super great, did, like, 50 kills and two deaths. No, I wish, but no. But it wasn't a bad match either. It wasn't, like, horrible. I'd been using the carbine and uh, had gone back to the Thompson to level it up. It does take quite a lot of kills to level the Thompson up, I'll tell you that. Uh, not as many kills. Or it takes, it takes a lot more kills than, uh, say, the, like... Uh, the Grand, it doesn't take many kills. Same with the Bolt Action, or even the M1, M2 Carbine, it doesn't take many kills with that either, so. But the Tommy Gun takes a lot of kills to level up. And if you haven't, if you're not familiar with this game, I think the guy's body is, like, twitching, that's funny. If you're not familiar with this game, you can get mods by leveling up the guns. And the mods can, you can change, like, things like the rate of fire, the weapon, the damage output. Actually, I lied earlier when I said the only mod I was using was the trigger. I also have the ammo 
I don't know what ammo it is. It's the ammo that gives you the highest damage. I have that as well. I typically always use that. Because um, why not? Ammo is really not that expensive. People say, well, you know, you pay for each bullet. And that's true. You do pay a little bit for each bullet that you fire when you're using the non-default ammo. But it's worth it, really. Because the Tommy gun, I think, is like a three or four hit kill with that ammo. So it's definitely worth it to to uh, get that ammo, that upgrade. I screwed up here, I think. I yeah, stood right in front of that guy trying to shoot him in the head. I should have come up behind him, but I was being stupid. Don't mess around with the STG, dude. That thing will destroy you. It's a uh, really cool sign, too. Uh, one guy I ran into, when I picked his gun up, it uh, he named it the Satanic Typewriter. It's pretty funny. Trying to make it up here. This is always a struggle trying to keep going between these two points when they're both, when one of them is controlled by the enemy because the snipers will just pick you off. So, yeah, I got messed up by the SDG again. Uh, yeah, just looking for some action, I think, at the time. Typically, this game is it's pretty balls to the wall, like, the whole time with people coming in. I think there was paratroopers too, but maybe not. I don't really remember. But, yeah. He was in generals. Is, uh, it's, it's been pretty pretty lit these last couple of days. It's been a lot of fun. And I've been playing with Kahulo, too. The guy I mentioned before. But, uh, yeah. I've been enjoying myself this summer. Um, gonna have a little bit of time to record before school starts again. Um in about six weeks, but after four weeks from now, I, I think, well, it'll be more like five since the thing doesn't start until about a week from now, but about five weeks from now is going to be when I start uploading C++ tutorials again, and that'll be on my, my laptop, but there won't be any gameplay for about six or seven weeks, which is unfortunate, but uh, I'm not going to have my computer, you know, I'm not going to be able to do it, and I'm going to be busy most days anyway. So, but uh, just uh, know that I didn't forget about you guys. <laughs> Once I get back and get settled in, I'm actually looking at getting a new apartment. So when I get settled into that new apartment with my girlfriend, then we'll, we'll talk more about uploading gameplay. But I might have one or two more videos before I start. Today is Tuesday, and I'll be leaving next Monday. So... It really limits how much, how many videos I'm gonna be uploading in that this next week, that period of time. So, but I'm trying to. I got some footage stored on my hard drive for upload, as well as another C++ tutorial to upload. But I'd really like to get some gameplay in. Gameplay, uh, I think, takes priority over the C++ videos since I won't be able to upload those. For a while, and I'll be able to upload the C++ videos sooner than I will my other ones. So, <clears throat> just heading back into this uh, this building. The Germans took it back, which is unfortunate, but that just means more points for us, since we have to we get the points for recapping and also get points for defending. So, and as you can see, we are uncontested right now. It's just the uh, the blue number is how many friendlies there are in here. So, but I'm gonna travel to over to this door. And why are you throwing grenades? Oh, I see. Man, uh, teammates throwing grenades in this game is one of the craziest things. You never know when someone's gonna throw a grenade. But uh, he saw a guy out the door, so I guess he can't blame him. Ooh, we got that guy. That's pretty sweet. Oh. Another STG, man. I'm just getting wrecked this match. The STG. It's crazy. Spawning all the way over here and riding a bike over like every time. Snag that bike. The bike is all powerful, man. You, all, excuse me, all powerful. You gotta take a bike every time you take a bike. I've actually seen bikes get hit by a tank round and uh, hardly lose any HP at all. <laughs> it's 
It's pretty funny because it's a bike, you know. But jumping over here, trying to find some enemies. There's one. Got him. Thompson's a lot of fun to play, but if you up, if you uh, if you max out the rate of fire on it, you pretty much have to um, increase the ammo pouch from one pouch to two. You need more ammo because you'll blow through it so fast. The carbine is not a problem; it shoots a lot faster, but um, it's you know you get so much more ammo. It's like something like 250 rounds of ammo, or probably even more than that, but the Tommy gun hardly gets any. I think it gets like, I want to say it gets like 120 rounds, which is not enough if you have the max rate of fire, because you'll blow through those, and it's only got 30 rounds in the chamber, so you're just going to blow through those those rounds too, so fast, you know. Trying to get around this corner so I can reload. We got Joymans attacking. Oh, got that guy. Sweet. <laughs> that guy wasn't expecting that. Came right behind him. It's kind of funny. We are on a spree with the Thompson. This match, as you can see from the top, top of the screen there, we uh, have almost won. When you're defending, there's like a timer. And if you keep the enemy from stealing your command posts for that timer period, then uh, you win the game. However, if the enemy team can cap those points within the time, then they win the game. So that's how this particular match works here. Actually, I think that's how they all work. There's always a defending and uh, an opposing team. So as far as I can do. Oh, come on. Let me get this guy. Do I get him? Probably not. Oh, I got him. How about that? Now, uh, you see that timer popped up now. So after this match, I'm going to leave you with that clip that I promised, uh, that Thompson triple kill, and I'll shut up, but I just wanted to let you know that uh, I'm not going to have a couple videos for a while, but uh, to make sure you check out the C++ tutorials, hit a like, subscribe and all that, and I'll have content up as soon as I get back, but uh, until then, this is Little Black Belt out. Enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks.